On this video, we're going to be reviewing and unboxing the Electron VBOX Pro Level 2 Home Charging System. Electron was kind enough to send me their uh, current VBOX Pro Level 2 EV charging station. Now, I'm... I've done quite a few unboxings when it comes to level two char uh, home chargers, but uh, this one here is it's a it's a bit unique uh, and, it, and it has a, a few extra bells and whistles that I haven't encountered in the uh, previous models that I've actually reviewed and unboxed. Uh, first thing that uh, s s will probably stand out is that the, the box advertises 48 amps, and we're we're going to go into a little bit deeper. Uh, on on uh, on how that works because uh, there are options as, as far as installation home installation when you have a level two uh, charger 48 amps typically when you have a 48 amp system you have to uh, hardwire it versus if you're going to use an outlet the NEMA 1450 you have to it's usually capped off at 40 40 amps now very well packaged nice foam uh, I love the silver highlight I'm, I don't know if it's molded into the uh into the plastic for painted but it's 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 very nice gives it off that uh, silver metallic sheen on it uh it is a little bit odd though that this one doesn't have a screen because it seemed at one point a lot of these level two home charging uh, systems were would have like an le led screen or lcd screen just to kind of visually show you uh, as far as the the amperage and the kilowatt and so forth Electron feels uh, with their top of the line level two charger, you don't need it. I will, uh, spoiler alert, I will say that their app is very easy to use. Now, going over uh, the unboxing here, instructions, home warranty, there's really not a lot. That's what makes these level two chargers so easy to kind of review and install. This one here uh, includes everything as far as the mountain brackets. It also includes the cable bracket and I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup here. I'm inspecting. Now, I will always recommend using your own uh, when it, uh, as, as far as screws, uh, since, you, since every homeowner knows what their home is and far, far studs goes. Uh, I like the, uh, the power wand. I'm gonna call it the power wand, but uh, I, I like the, uh, the silver tip button on it. It's just, it's just different. Very solid, very heavy. Uh, it's it, it doesn't feel flimsy doesn't feel cheap nothing here feels cheap at all this this is just picking everything up uh, very solid construction now what this is different they are they've included the NEMA 1450 plug here and they've given you instructions that if you do decide to hardwire it into a, a, an outlet box uh, they're giving you instructions uh, on actually how to remove the actual plug and when you do so it unlocks the mode which lets you pump in 48 amps so there is a sensor inside this outlet here that uh, once you remove it uh, will let you do 48 amps otherwise if you're just going to use the outlet on a NEMA 1450 it's going to get capped off at 40 amps and it's, it's really for safety reasons especially like in the middle of summer here when you're pumping in 48 amps like that the outlet or the actual plug tends to get very very hot and in some cases, there, there's a scorching around the terminals. So a lot of folks know the risk. I don't recommend it uh, to bypass it, but just, just, just be careful. There is my NEMA 1450 outlet. It's right, it's, all, it's, it's, it's on the left side of my garage and I'm gonna be installing it there so I can run the charger uh, plug to the, uh, to the Ford. If you have, it, it, I tell you what, it always makes your job so much easier if you have the proper tools. I'm using a stud finder, leveler. I know where the stud is on the wall. And uh, I only need to, it, there is four holes on this steel uh, plate here. I'm only gonna uh, in, uh, screw three holes. Uh, simply because uh, in, I mean, these screws are rated for about 50 pounds and this unit, doesn't exceed 50 pounds. So to have three, I think is more than enough. If I can minimize the holes on my wall, I'm, I'm gonna do so. Very unique, different design compared to other level two chargers that 
uh, snap in and then you can pop them off uh, with the uh, like a screwdriver this one here you actually have to screw in there is a uh, four screw holes right uh, there's two on the left two on the right uh, versus the other ones I've, I've reviewed and installed they kind of snap in and then they can pop right off uh, by a, a pressure reliever these are the four screws and then at least electron does include the uh, screw covers the the uh, for the rubber screw covers on there and they're they're numbered and, and, and such and so there is no spring release mechanism on this you are essentially screwing it on to the wall almost near permanent fixture but not really uh, once you screw in all four uh, screw holes uh, pop in the uh, the rubber stoppers for aesthetic reasons and before I'm, I'm gonna plug it in here I'm just showing you on there I just want to make sure it works before I go any further because I'm gonna be drilling the cable support uh, bar and you can kind of see it's powered on and it's blinking and that is the signal that it, it, it's it, it's working fine and it's waiting to be paired up so this specific unit it's it has Wi-Fi features and it has the interactive app the, that you can control and schedule and so forth and uh, I'm gonna install the uh, the steel bracket arm here so I can hang the uh, the cables here charge port wand and yeah super thick this cable is very thick uh, and, and you want that though I mean when you're charge it in the middle of summer here in Vegas uh, these uh, the actual cord does get warm and that is normal that is absolutely normal so hence why the uh, the safety feature on the 48 amp that when you do hardwire it in you, you know you really do want to uh, use a licensed electrician the app uh, for Electron, I'm going to give it a super duper A+. I've used other apps for other level 2 chargers, and by far the Electron app was probably the quickest and easiest uh, to set up. It communicated very quickly with the, uh, with the charger. The only thing that probably took the longest uh, about the app was the update. Um, it connected very quickly, and then it told me it needed an, uh, an update. And the update probably took five minutes, but honestly, if it didn't need the update, I probably would have had the app up and running probably just under three minutes. You can kind of see the update on there and so forth, and I'll do a quick cut, cut on there. And if you're curious, I, I did want to see if I can kind of trigger the 48 amp, and it, it does warn you, requires hardware connection. So I was like, oh shoot, 48 amps. Uh, when you have a dead bat, when you have a 90 or 110 kilowatt battery, that 48 amps, my God, is it's, it is an absolute lifesaver. Tested it out here. Uh, the Lightning uh, accepts it, says, okay, it's cool. And visually, inspecting the charger, you can see the uh, LED lights on there uh, signaling that, hey, everything is working fine and so forth. And there is a... Uh, um, a, a fuse button on the right side. If, if there's ever like a short or anything like that, you can kind of trigger it. But otherwise, it it was an easy, easy uh, installation. I gotta say, I'm very impressed by it. Uh, uh, the aesthetic, uh, the build, the quality. Uh, it is a solid product. I a plus all the way. Other than not having a, a screen, this is uh, this is uh, this is really really nice to have an. And uh, link is on the description below if you're interested in picking up your very own. Uh, uh, help support the channel. And uh, yeah, this is A plus all the way. Folks, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.